It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from 71 Brewing Company in Lidl. It's part of the Lidl Craft Beer Festival of July 2022. This is called Fruit Phaser Mango Vanilla Smoothie IPA, 7.5% ABV. I've generally been a massive fan. You can probably hear the enthusiasm in my voice for 71 Brewing Company and little as part of this craft beer festival because the beers from these two companies combined have been nothing short of remarkable for the price point they put new england ipas in little double ipas in the past as part of the little craft beer festival they've all been very very good um i am excited i am excited we're gonna give the price of this first of all before we get into it and I want you to bear in mind the price throughout the whole video, because this is not kind of like bottle shop prices. This is not Tesco's or Morrison's prices. This is Lidl's prices. And they're generally trying to be half the price of everybody else. They're trying to work miracles, basically. Uh, so the Mango and Passion Review, uh, Mango and Villa IP, so it's two pound, one pound 99. So this is the most expensive craft beer that you will find in Lidl at the moment at £1.99 a can. Can they do it? Can they make something pretty decent? It's time to find out. Let's get it out into glass, see what we get. Seven point five percent ABV, four hundred and forty milliliter can. Oh, look at this. That looks really interesting, really interesting. Uh, what I'm going to say straight away is that I know I, I can definitely, without even putting my nose to the beer, I can see its concentrates. It's definitely a vanilla concentrate. It's definitely a mango concentrate. You can see that by the colour of the head. If that's a beer that's been, the mango flavours are coming from the hops, the head would still be white because hops, although they might taste like mango, some varieties of hops will taste like mango, they will never ever make the head look like a slightly mango colour. So there's the first giveaway. The first giveaway that it is concentrated, it is going to be that kind of ice cream concentrate. You can tell that by the colour of the head. But again, £1.99. What are we really expecting here? Good levels of carbonation. If you were to buy a beer at 7.5% ABV in Morrison's, Tesco's, Sainsbury's or Asda, you'd be looking to pay between £4 and £5 a can. Little have just cut that in half. They just said, we're going to do it. For £1.99. But there's going to be shortcuts. There's going to be shortcuts. There's going to be things that you kind of roll your eyebrows at. You know, roll your eyes at. But essentially, if there's something half decent here, then it could be worth the money. Let's get the aroma. Bit of mango, not getting much of the vanilla. It's a little grapefruity. I think it's time to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh! Oh, that's oh, awful. <laughs> it's awful. Oh. oh, it's almost undrinkable. Oh, my goodness me. Oh, what on earth is this? Oh, blimey. Whew. 
even if I had like, I don't know, m maybe I've been to a music festival recently and you know what music festivals are like, you, you end up drinking, I drink about seven or eight pints. Even at the, at the end of the music festival, if you offer me a glass of this, I think, I even think I, I, I would str struggle with this at the end of a big session, you know? Oh, it's, um, it's very astringent. It's very astringent and it's very like, it's not even like a Solero. Some of these beers, I complain because I, I said, look, I could go down the ice cream aisle in a supermarket and buy a Solero. It doesn't even taste like Solero. It didn't even kind of like offer that kind of mango, vanilla kind of Solero taste. Just, I, don't, I don't even know what I'm tasting here. Oh, it's insipid. It's, it's quite nasty, to be honest with you. And I apologise to 71 Brewing Company. I've generally liked everything that they've thrown into Little up to now. The, I, the New England IPAs, the double IPAs, everything else they've thrown in have been flipping brilliant. But this, I'm, I'm not getting on with this. I, I'm really not getting on with this one. Although, although with each taste, I'm getting used to it. And your palate has a really kind of, or your brain, your palate has a way of adjusting and, and getting used to these flavors. Um, I'm slowly changing my mind. I mean, I, I'm never gonna buy it again, but I am slowly changing my mind a little bit on this. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm trying. I'm trying to change my mind. I'm trying to think of a place, of a way where I would go, yeah, I'm going to drink this whole glass. There's no way I'm drinking this whole glass. There is no way. Um, how can I describe this? It's... It's just hard. It's not even smoothie like. It's not even like. It's like you've emptied a, a load of cordial into milk. It's like, but like not even full cream milk. Not even half. Like semi skim milk. It's like you've you've emptied mango concentrate into. Red top milk, the ultra kind of light, almost like water milk. The, what do they call it? Super semi skimmed or whatever. When it's like it pours out like water. You have that same, that same thing here. It's not, oh, it's not very really nice at all. Fruit Phaser, a super soft and hazy beer with lots of creamy oats, wheat and milk sugar. Combined with a ton of real mango and a touch of Madagascan vanilla to create a tropical taste sensation. I, 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 I can't agree it's real mango. I can't, I can't agree on that. I, I can't. I can't. It's, it's got to be ice cream concentrate. It simply has to. Anyway, um, I'm going to put myself out of my misery now with this one and... and, and consign it to the sink um it's a drain pour complete drain pour for me the ingredients are barley wheat oats and milk it's a, it's a two out of ten two out of ten for real craft beer please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beard and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom cheers